Hello friends and welcome to the cottage. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious you guys. Oh my goodness gracious. I just got back um, from a trip um, with my bestie, um, my husband, and, um, and my kids. And uh, we went to the largest city in Canada, Canada, excuse me, which is Toronto. And um, it's quite a ways from us. It's quite a ways. It's, a, it's about a five, five and a half hour plane ride um, on two different planes. And um, yeah, it was quite, it was quite something to get there. But oh gosh, it was so worth it. Um, the restaurants and the, you know, we all enjoy looking through art galleries. We did a lot of that. I actually did not do much shopping, believe it or not, because we were not really in that many shops, you know. We were more kind of um, just experiencing the city more than um, going in shops. I think I'm going to have to shut my fan off because I just realized it's quite noisy. There we go. So, <laughs> so I'm back and I'm, you know, I'd like to say I'm refreshed, but you know, traveling is, it's not like it used to be. It's hard. It really is with the crowds and everything. Um, and the way they kind of sardine people into planes nowadays. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it was, it wasn't really a relaxing trip. It was more of a, uh, you know, experiences gathering experiences type trip but um, anyway I'm back I've got Zuri with me and um, and that's who we're gonna talk about today um, we are gonna talk about Zuri and um, and I I'm just kind of wondering I, I I don't think you guys have seen I think in the last time you saw Zuri, Zuri was a girl and had brown eyes. Zuri is now a boy and has beautiful cornflower blue eyes by Ico. And I don't know, guys, I am really loving these eyes. But I just want to talk, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about <clears throat> kind of the journey to the creation of Zuri. Um, now I did do a tutorial of, you know, the different things I did to create Zuri. And if you're interested in, um, making some changes to your replica reborn, because Zuri is a replica reborn, um, I did purchase him on, uh, Timu as a painted, um, disassembled kit. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about, because, you know, um, I don't know. You guys know me. I, I'm never satisfied when it comes to my replica dolls. Um, it takes me a really long time um, to, you know, when they come as a painted disassembled kit, I feel like, and you know, they need to be put together. And in my opinion, they need, you know, glossing and tweaking. And um, it takes me a long time to sort of build a bond with them. And it, it takes me a long time to kind of figure out who they're meant to be. And um, you would know that by watching my videos of, of Esme, my um, original uh, replica reborn uh, baby girl. It took four sets of beautiful Ico polyglass eyes to... Where are you, Esme? Where are you? I'm going to go get Esme. She's over here. She's, it's so hot, you guys. She's just hanging out in a little t-shirt. She's just hanging out in a little t-shirt. Um, and her, in her onesie. Oh my God, look how cute she looks. She's just wearing a little, um, elephant. It's, look at this t-shirt. It's got little baby blue elephants on it. Doesn't she look so sweet? Anyway, it took me a really long time to decide about Esme. Like, how I, how I wanted her to look, um, who I wanted her to be, because you guys know all my babies, you know, have personalities. And I've kind of gone through the same thing with Zuri. Tried a lot of different colored eyes, let me tell you. 
I've done. I started out with pale brown, then I went to um, like pale brown, uh, I think they were uh, McPherson's eyes, then I went to the dark brown uh, from Ico, and then green for a while, which was interesting, but I don't know. It wasn't quite right. Um, and then my most latest is these cornflower blue eyes. And I'm going to just, I'm going to move you guys up a little bit here. Um, I'm very curious to hear what you guys think. I, after I put the cornflower blue eyes in, um, I decided that, um, he was a boy. So I'm very curious to hear what you guys think. Um, anyway, I'm going to grab a sippy sippy of my cold drink. I want you guys to flop down in a comfy chair and um, get yourself all comfy, grab a cold drink, and let's, um, let's have a chat. Mmm, I got an orange sparkling water today. It's delicious. So, like I said, I find with the with the replica babies, um, I find that when they come, because I've only ever received, the, I'm pretty sure, I've only received replica babies as a disassembled kit, um, unless I was sent one, you know, to review. I know I did review one uh, maybe a year or so ago that was just a disaster. Um, Anyway, um, you know, I went through all the steps and, and if you're at all interested, you can go check that out. How, you know, how I weighted him, um, and, uh, and I, and I just, you know, I got it. I just got it right. Like he's just perfect. Oh, he's perfect. He's just, you know, that like eight, six to eight week flop that I just love. Anyway, I'm going to show you. What do you guys think? Now, he has not got his lashes. I have uh, Monique Wispy uh, Dark Brown Lashes for him. He has not received his lashes. Um, but he has had his painting. He's had his lips redone. These are Ico 22 millimeter cornflower blue eyes. That they're, they're I just think they're stunning. I did put green ones, the Ico green, in just before we left for our vacation. They were beautiful, you guys, with with his dark skin. They were beautiful, but you know, I don't know. There was just something about them. I thought they almost made him look like a fairy, kind of. I don't know. It was weird. But when we got home, um, we just got home a few days ago, and, uh, oh gosh, we were super fortunate. We had um, our landscaper and his beautiful family um, come. They decided not to stay here, but they came three times a day and, you know, played outside with the dogs and cared for all the animals. We came home. Everyone was happy and healthy and... Um, so we were really fortunate because when you have these many animals, it's really hard to leave. And a farm, you know, it's hard to get away. Um, and uh, anyway, um, everything was fine. But anyway, when I got home, I took him, I had him wrapped up and in the closet because I tend not to display my babies that I'm working on because, I don't know, it's just a weird thing I have, I guess. I just, um, I just don't display them till I feel like they're done. But in the case of this little guy, he is going to be going, um, he has a mummy, a very special mummy. Um, she is an 11 year old girl, um, who follows my channel and she is the daughter of our landscaper. And, um, and she, it's so funny, um, you know, to, to meet a little girl, 11 year old little girl, um, who is, loves reborns, you know, it's, it, it just, it really worked out 
so cool because her dad was here working one day and he just happened to mention um, that, you know, his daughter really liked Remorse. So, hi Mona! I hope you watch this video. <laughs> anyway, she actually was here when one of our goats was born. When Prince Charming was born, she was actually here for the birth. And that was amazing. That was really cool. That was super duper cool that she was here. But um, I gifted her um, one of the replicas that I had been, uh, that I had, you know, purchased and, you know, been working on for some time. And, uh, um, and she called her Bella and, um, and just loves her. And I also gifted her my, um, um, I forget what, not, not Dobby's girlfriend. I forget what her name is. Anyway, she was also a replica um, that I purchased on Amazon and, you know, did a lot of tweaking, of course, a lot of painting and tweaking on, and I, I gifted her as well, you know, with, with like a, a whole box opening. So anyway, her dad, her dad and I were talking when he was here last and he was just saying how she just loves, um, you know, the, the, the black, she loves black babies. And so I decided uh, that, um, that uh, Zuri is going to go live with Mona because um, she's got, you know, there's they've got a lot going on. She's got uh, twin baby brothers um, who have been uh, diagnosed with autism. And, um, you know, they're a real handful for mom, you know, for their mom. And, uh, and you know, Mona's just an incredibly helpful, helpful, incredibly helpful um, sister with her little brothers because they are, you know, like I said, they're, they are a huge handful. There's two of them and, and they do, you know, they do have autism. So, um, I think it's nice for her to have, um, you know, these special rewards for what an awesome big sister she is. And she does love her reborns. So there is Zuri. And, um, if you go back and watch my tutorials, um, you would know that when he arrived, he was quite shiny. Um, and which uh, I know my my friend Sina, um, when she received her, I think she got twin A. Her first replica was a twin A. And she found her to be quite shiny. Um, which I, I've been meaning to uh, message her and, and just let her know that, um, you know, there is a way to... to um, fix that because this little guy is not in any way shiny. I mean, I know he looks, has a little bit of a sheen to him in the camera, but he is not in any way shiny. Look how gorgeous he is. Isn't he just gorgeous? Oh gosh. I love the cornflower blue eyes. I, and you know what, honestly, I don't think, and this is just me personally, you know, I don't think that I could bond with one of these, um, these, you know, painted disassembled kit dolls if I didn't, you know, put my personal touch on them. Like if I just put them together, put polyfill in them, um, and some weighting, I don't think I could bond with them. You know, certainly not the way I have with Esme because you guys know, I mean, if there was a fire, she's, uh, she's coming with. <laughs> She's kind of, I'd have Mimi under one arm, Layla under the other arm, and I'd have Esme slung over my shoulder. And, um, anyway, um, yeah, I, 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 I just don't think that I would develop a bond. Like, I really, really like this little guy, but I'm super excited for him to go to his new mommy because he's going to be so, so loved. So loved. Um, and then I don't know. I, I'm not sure what's next. Because, you know, honestly, I really enjoy... Um, I really, really enjoy purchasing these, um, you know, these disassembled painted kits. Because we all know I'm craft challenge. But um, I really enjoy purchasing them and then, you know, putting my personal touch on them. Um... And, uh, you know, I, ha I ha actually, I have sold a few. I have gifted three. This will be my third one that I've gifted. No, fourth, fifth. Our granddaughter, of course, has received many. 
Um, anyway, I, I just really enjoy it. It's just a really a lot of fun. So I've actually been on um, Timu. Um, I just love, I love how I weighted him. And if you like this, if you like this curled up, you know, sort of thing, go watch my um, tutorial because I, I'm very detailed, very detailed um, in how I achieve this. And, you know, if you held him, you would know what I mean because he feels real. He feels like an eight, you know, an eight week old baby should feel. I'm really loving these eyes. He needs his lashes, but I'm really loving these eyes. I think they're just gorgeous. And his skin tone as well. Um, I somebody messaged me and asked me to send a link um for this for this baby. I have no idea how to do that. I am so, you know, challenged when it comes to computers. All I can tell you is I got him from Otard, Otard dolls on um Timu. And he's the Lanny Sculpt. He's a replica of the Lanny Sculpt. So it, that's pretty easy. I mean, you can just go on Timu and do a search of the Lanny Sculpt. Um, and I think there's a few different companies that sell it, but I chose the, um, you know, the bald disassemble painted kit um, by Otar Dolls. And, you know, have been nothing but pleased with what I received, the quality of what I received, and then, but like I said, I, I would not have been satisfied unless I did my tweaking and, you know, good old Ico eyes, I'm telling you. They really, really, really should <laughs> sponsor me, other than, you know, the fact that I use them on replica dolls probably wouldn't go over so well. Anyway, that is kind of what's happening with Zuri, which means beautiful in Swahili. And it is, um, it is a, um, you know, can be used for a boy or a girl. But I have a feeling Mona will probably come up with a, with her own name. Um, the last baby that I gifted her, she called uh, Bella, which I thought was a beautiful name. So, um, so yeah. And I need to ask her, of course, does she want um, him to come as a boy or a girl? I did pierce his ears so I can put earrings in and put a cute little girl outfit on. Um, I know she does have, I, I'm pretty sure I've gifted her bottles and pacifiers, all that kind of stuff. But I'll probably, you know, do a little box with some more goodies for her. Anyway, um, yeah, you know, it's really interesting that having been gone for a while, I... You know, there's some housekeeping that needs to be done around here. But I'm going to do a second video today because I really missed you guys. And I'm just going to talk a little bit about what the heck is going on in the nursery. Because I got a whole lot going on. I'm actually, actually considering making a purchase. Even though I said, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. No more babies for me. Um, There is a baby on eBay right now that I am... I was looking at him prior to us leaving um, to go to Toronto and I'm and I came back and he's still available and I do not have a boy in my collection and oh, I don't know there's just something about this baby it just uh, I don't know you know you guys know I don't have to explain it to you you guys know some babies they just pull at our heartstrings and um, and the fact that I do not have a boy in my collection, and I I miss, you know, the last boy that I had was, of course, Liam, um, who was my, my, my Rosalie sculpt, um, my, um, what do you call it, uh, silicone Rosalie sculpt, who now lives back in the UK with my dear friend and is named Rosie. And that was the last boy I had in my collection. And that was the only boy I had in my collection. So, you know how we do, especially me, late at night, all the animals are sleeping. I get on eBay and Reborns.com and start looking at, I usually, when I go on eBay, I, I always look for 
uh, pre-loved, I think I put in the search bar, pre-loved Reborns, and, um, and this baby came up. Now, he is brand new from the artist, and I, and I have bought three other babies from this artist. Unfortunately, none of them are with me any longer, but I really love her work. I really, really love her work. Um, her work is beautiful. And, yeah, anyway. <laughs> To be continued. <laughs> I'm so happy to be back, you guys. Comment down below. I really missed you guys. As always, take care.